we have a number of vehicles that we use to drive our open innovation goals. Um, they range from hackathons to innovation challenges that sort of act as crowdfunding for sourcing for product ideas and prototypes that we can test with the markets to build products that are fit um, for our target customers. Um, but I guess the most important vehicles we use for driving our open innovation objectives would be our venture building programs. There are four of them in all. The first was launched back in 2018 and it's an incubation program that identifies early stage tech startups that are, um, have a value proposition that aligns with the growth and expansion plans for our subsidiary businesses. We bring them into the program, we expose them to mentors, we invest in them, but more importantly, we facilitate integration conversations with our subsidiary businesses that eventually lead to business value that is beneficial to both parties. We launched another program back in 2019 called the Dejiali Young Talent Award Data. Um, it's a program that focuses on startups that build technology that supports the sustainable development goals defined by the United Nations. And it helps ARM to align its corporate strategy with the needs of today's society. Um, we re recently partnered with Techstars to launch the ARM Labs Lagos Techstars Accelerator. And it is aimed at identifying the next set of unicorns out of Africa. We have a number of leading and lagging indicator KPIs that we use to measure the outcomes of our open innovation endeavors. Um, but the KPI that I find to be my favorite would be the rate of innovation. So we track and we measure the incremental revenue that comes from our open innovation initiatives. We subtract that from the total revenue and we express it as a percentage or a ratio of the total revenue and that gives us our rate of innovation and it's a very good way to measure how we progress. Um, with open innovation. Well, take our venture building programs for one. We had one back in 2018, now we have three. We've expanded the scope of our venture building programs to include startups not just from Nigeria alone, but from other parts of Africa. And we recently started designing a program that allows us to identify internal entrepreneurs and the ultimate goal is to help us to, to push a culture of entrepreneurship and help us drive the culture transformation that supports our digital transformation. And we hope to identify ARM staff who would be building the next set of businesses for the future of ARM. We are a wealth management company and we are currently transitioning into a wealth tech company. So we find that advanced data analytics and machine learning is an extremely important technology that allows us to intimately understand the needs of our customers and helps us to predict what our customers want in the future so we could build innovative products that meet their needs of today and their needs of tomorrow. We also own a real estate business and so we find that augmented and virtual reality is an interesting technology that allows us to change the experience of the customer and how we offer real estate products to our customers.